the principles of water harvesting are universal. Uh, the concepts are universal. What changes is how you realize the specific strategies. And the main thing that changes is the plant palette. So uh, the plant palette in my drier climate is going to look different than that here of Santa Barbara. And both Santa Barbara and Tucson will look very different than, um, say, Maryland. Uh, so in all of these contexts, you want to harvest water in the soil so that the soil moisture lingers longer, longer into the dry season, shrinking the dry season, while simultaneously reducing flooding in the wet season because more water is infiltrated than is flashed off. So water harvesting buffers extremes, be it wet climate, dry climate, or wet season or dry season. It works in both. Um, but in a wetter climate, you're going to have more water tolerant plants associated with your earthworks. In a drier climate, it's going to be more dry, uh, dry season adapted and drought adapted plants associated with your earthworks. And to figure that out, you just take a hike into the nat natural ecosystem of your area that's still intact and see what naturally grows in the low spots or the high spots without supplemental irrigation, without human inputs, and at what densities. You mimic those densities, those species, um, back in your home landscape. Uh, and you'll actually find that the plants will do even better in your home landscape because unlike the untouched world where there's still a fair amount of water being lost to runoff, if you create these earthworks that capture more of the rain, capture more of the leaf top drop becoming what I call resource baskets, more resources linger, cycle back through the system instead of flowing on out. So the system builds over time. The fertility, the soil, the production, um, and things don't just survive, they thrive. So some of the projects I'm working on is, uh, first off, first and foremost, is my, my home. So uh, I, I live on an eighth of an acre site in, just north of downtown Tucson with my brother and sister-in-law. And uh, there we harvest over 100,000 gallons of water a year, rainwater a year, that just falls from the sky onto our site and the adjoining public right-of-way. And this is in a community only receiving 12 inches of rain a year. So by doing this, we have been able to eliminate the need for potable drinking water being used to irrigate our landscapes. And currently, 30 to 50 percent of the drinking water consumed by a typical single-family residence is just used to cast off into the dirt or irrigate the plants. So if, if everyone in the community were to do similar such strategies, we could reduce the community's current water consumption by 30 to 50 percent. Um, and uh, in addition to this and uh, organizing along with my neighbors uh, neighborhood tree planting projects, uh, this has inspired others to do same in other neighborhoods. Um, and then as some of my paid work, uh, I have been hired as a consultant and a designer uh, to develop more sustainable landscapes. For example, at the Milagro co-housing development, I uh, helped design a landscape that now that it's established can be irrigated entirely with uh, harvested rainwater and household wastewater. Uh, no tanks, just harvesting everything in passive earthworks. And the common landscape of the development uh, doubles as the community flood control. Because all these earthworks harvesting the rainfall for the irrigation of the plants doubles as community flood control. There's no runoff off the site. We had a civil engineer add up the cumulative sto storage capacity of all these micro basins between the houses from which the rainwater was directed uh, and found that the cumulative capacity exceeded the capacity of a conventional stormwater detention basin by 10 times. So it's great. We're getting the foundation of a water sustainable landscape and community flood control, enhanced plant health and productivity um, just with an integrated approach. Uh, if people would like to get more information on harvesting rainwater, stormwater, gray water, uh, they can go to my website, harvestingrainwater.com, 
and there's extensive resources, uh, including information on demonstration sites throughout the world, uh, where you can get photos, cost-benefit analyses, uh, drawings on how different municipalities, neighborhood groups, whatnot, set up different water harvesting strategies in their area. You can then take those images and information to your local authorities, your neighbors, and say, hey, look what we can do. And instead of responding by saying, what, you're crazy, I don't know what you're talking about, they will see because you will show them the images. And because precedent has already been made by these other communities, it's, it's much more accessible. People see, oh, I can do that, I can go there. Um, and I think it's also key that if, if this is something you want to pursue, then pursue it and start in your own life. Just uh, implement some of these strategies in your own yard. And you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to screw up. We always do. Um, but don't just leave it screwed up. Try and work through it. Solve it. Get it working right. And that's when you invite people over to then share it. Okay, You're sharing what works, not an idea that failed. Uh, and this can be very empowering because not only will other people get inspired, uh, perhaps do likewise or improve upon what you've done, but uh, you'll find that if you advocate for this in public meetings, people will not be able to shoot you down. Uh, when I first started talking at, at some of these meetings and promoting the idea of water harvesting, um, some people in the meetings would try and shut me down by saying, asking, who are you? You're no expert. But once I was doing this in my own life and living this, I was an expert, as anyone could be, because I was relating from my direct daily experience. So once I was doing it, when the question came up, who are you? Are you an expert? I said, yes. Yes, I am an expert. I do this. This is at my home. You can come see how it's worked. Um, so anyone can, can do the same in, in whatever way they want. Um, the key is just to walk your talk or be the change you want in the world, whatever that change is. <laughs>